my name is Fiona and welcome back to Crochet and Diamonds. In today's video I have another part of the Crochet for Beginners series for you and in this video I'm going to show you how to make a double crochet. So for the purposes of this tutorial we're going to need a few things. We're going to be needing some yarn. I'm just going to use some scrap chunky yarn that I have which is also classed as a hive weight yarn and the corresponding hook size which is a six millimeter hook. You can use whatever yarn you like, just make sure you've got the corresponding hook size for that particular weight of yarn. So let's dive in, shall we? So you want to take the start with a slip knot, and to do you can do that using whatever method you prefer. I'm just going to walk you through what I do. So taking the tail end of the yarn, I'm going to grab that with my thumb and forefinger. I'm going to grab the working end of the yarn. That's the end of the yarn that's still attached to the ball. I'm going to wrap that over my finger like so. I've now got two loops on my finger. I'm going to take that back loop over the front loop and off my finger like so. And now I have a slip knot. I'm going to put that onto my hook. I need to cinch that circle down. You don't want it to be too big or too tight. You can just cinch that down by pulling on the working end of the yarn like so. You don't want it too tight. You want it to be able to move along the shaft of your hook so you can work your chain stitches. Using my thumb and forefinger, I'm just going to hold underneath that slip knot I've made. So for this sample piece, for this tutorial, I'm going to be chaining 15. You can chain however many you need for your particular project. So 1, 2, 3, 4. And just move your thumb and forefinger up. It helps you to control your work. So we've got 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15 like so and we are going to be working into the fourth chain from the hook remembering that the loop on our hook doesn't count as anything so we've got one two three that's our fourth one and that's the one we're going to work into so we're going to yarn over, go into that fourth chain, like so. It can be a little bit fiddly, but once you get past this first row, you shouldn't have that problem anymore. There we go. We're going to grab the yarn, pull through a loop, like so. We've got three loops on our hook. We're going to yarn over, pull through the first two, stop. We've got two loops left and we're going to yarn over again and pull through those final two. And we've created our double crochet. The three chains that we skipped at the beginning will count as the first double crochet of this row. So let's do that again shall we? So we're going to yarn over, go into the next stitch, grab the yarn, pull through a loop like so. We've got three loops on our hook, we're going to yarn over, pull through two, stop, and then we're going to yarn over again and pull through those final two. And that's another double crochet. So do that again. So yarn over, go into the stitch like so, grab the yarn, pull through a loop, three loops. We're going to yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over again and pull through the final two. And we're going to do that in every stitch along our row until the end so yarn over go into the stitch grab the yarn pull through a loop three loops yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and you just want to repeat that all the way to the end and i'm almost to the end again and we've got down to the final stitch where so that was our slip knot so yarn over, go into the stitch like so, pull through a loop, three loops on our hook, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over again and pull through the final two. Let's pull out for a bit of moment. And there we have our first row of a double crochet. So you should have something that's looking like this. These are what your stitches should be looking like. So let's move on to the next row, shall we? So we're going to chain three, 
this will get all our stitches up to the right height for the next row so one two three turn our work now we're going to work back along this row the stitches you work in from now on do look different as we've seen in the previous videos now what we're working into looks like these and these are the top so the stitches we've just made remember we are going to be wanting to go through both loops of the v's now that chain three that we made will count as our first double crochet for this row so we're going to go into the next stitch grab the yarn pull through a loop we've got our three loops on our hook we're going to yarn over pull through two yarn over and pull through the final two so yarn over go into the next stitch grab the yarn pull through a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two we've got another double crochet and we're just going to keep doing that all the way to the end and we're almost to the end again so i should have 12 stitches if i complete this row so started with 15 chain stitches we skipped the first three so that takes us down to our 12 so 2 4 6 8 10 11 so we've got one stitch left and that can be a little bit difficult to see it's this one on the end here so don't accidentally miss a stitch when you're doing your rows so this one right here that's what we're working into for our final stitch and there is our second row of double crochet complete let's just do one more to make sure you've got the hang of it so we're going to chain three this gets us up to the right working height for this stitch so I've chained three, I'm going to turn my work and I'm going to work into the next stitch because this chain three counts as our first double crochet of the row. So yarn over, go into the second stitch, grab the yarn, pull through a loop. We've got three loops as normal. Yarn over, pull through two and yarn over again, pull through the following two. And we've made our double crochet just as we have done throughout. And we're going to do that in every stitch going along. Almost to the end again. We've got two stitches remaining. That's one. Don't forget the last stitch. As I said before, it can be a little bit difficult to see. But that's the top of the chain three that we made at the previous row. We're going to work into that stitch just making sure we go through two loops of it the chain stitch we're going to grab the yarn pull through a loop three loops yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and you're just going to keep working in this method so chain three get us up to the right height for our work and turn our work and we're going to work along the row again almost to the end again it's got two stitches there and you're just going to keep going backwards and forwards in this method until you get your project to the size that you want it to be three loops yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and then once you're finished just yarn over pull through again get your scissors snip your yarn like so and then pull that loop up and then you've completed work so your double crochet should be looking something like this i hope that you found this video useful if you have then please do give this video a like and if you would like to see more content like this then please click on the subscription box down below and make sure you turn on your notifications bell that way you'll get a notification of when I upload another video. Thank you for joining me today and I hope to see you all next time.